Hi, my name is Joe Langdon with the Sims Real Estate Group powered by EXP Realty. I'm here in beautiful Shamanus, British Columbia at Wiffle Games. So at Wiffle Games here we've got awesome toys from the 70s, 80s, and most of the 80s. And we've got G.I. Joe, awesome collection here. Bunch of guys that my mom never bought me. And uh, over here we've got a bunch of Star Wars. So these would be 70s or 80s? 80s. 77 starts. Starts in 77 and works its way up. And down here we got He-Man. So my, my parents never bought these for me either, but I've uh, been working on my collection lately. We got this one here, that's Moss Man. There's some pretty sweet battle cats. And yeah, pretty sweet collection here. All of them for sale. I'm in the comic book section here at Wiffle Games, and uh, it's pretty sweet, obviously. Got one of my favorite all-time comic books here, Spawn vs. Uh, Batman, by Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane, as many of you know, a uh, famous Spider-Man artist that spent a lot of time here on the island. Also, uh, first issue of X-Files, one of the coolest shows ever. But when I come into the card alley, I'm usually in this section back here. I really like the old Mad magazines, the old Crack magazines, that sort of stuff. That's sort of more up my alley, National Lampoons. So, lots of comics. Here we are in the Record Alley part of Wiffle Games in Shimanus, BC. We're just checking out some of the latest titles, the hot new records, and uh, some cool re-releases as well. Uh, what do I gravitate towards? Obviously, we got Beatles. Help! Got to have, got to have Beatles in your record collection. Uh, Pink Floyd, one of my favorite bands of all time. We even got the original master recording of Dark Side of the Moon. Pretty cool pressings. Some Frank Zappa. And hey, can't go wrong with Ozzy. Something else to know about Wiffle Games, obviously, video games and the best video games. I'm talking about NES, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, they've got PlayStation, they've got uh, Game Boy, they've got all the systems as well. For me, it's all about NES. This is my favorite system right here, and I've come in here and dropped some money on quite a few of these games. Wizards and Warriors, original Mario Brothers, gotta have it. Also at Wiffle Games here, we have lots of original Transformers from around 1985 to 87. We have a beautiful Scorponok right here, 99% complete. We also have Metroplex and lots of these great Headmasters and beautiful stuff in the box. Lots of people think these are the reproduction ones from the 2000s, but these ones are genuine from 1985. Uh, we got great stuff like Predic King and a uh, an assortment of others and even Beast Wars. We've got Optimus Primal and Rampage, Transmetals and Cheetors. Um, and over here, a little selection of mask figures from one of the most amazing 80s cartoons that are a little bit overshadowed by G.I. Joe and Transformers. Uh, we also have a couple Battle Beast vehicles there. 
and we can show you the battle piece in another cabinet. Wiffle Games, we got tons of toys here, obviously. Ninja Turtles. This is probably one of my main ones. It was, for me, it was the LGN, WWF wrestlers, and Ninja Turtles. I've come here lots, I've bought lots of these. Obviously, we've got the sewer system down there. We've got every one of them, Michelangelo, Donatello, all the randos, Bebop, Rocksteady, Cran, uh, Casey Jones, the whole lot. We got them all here. So thanks so much, Sean, at your store here, Wiffle Games in the heart of Shemanus. What road is this? Willow Street. Willow Street, Shemanus. Now, Sean, if someone wants to bring in their toys or their collectibles, what are you looking for? Uh, we love 80s toys like He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, even though they're little 90s, uh, retro video games, Super Nintendo, Sega, pinball and arcade machines, uh, uh, Silver Age comic books, rock and roll records, anything that's super awesome. So just and anything, pay. pretty much anything that you have. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but another they pay really well and are very fair. And uh, if you want top dollar for your collectibles, we would love the opportunity. Another thing I want to mention to you about the toys is that if you have a whole bunch of toys in your basement. Make sure you grab those little swords and knives and stuff that go along with them too. Those can sometimes be worth as much as the toys themselves. If not more. 